I just want to say, never believe that God's not abundant. There's just so much. There's so much. And when you get out here on all this open territory and open land, you're like, whoa, God is not short on any resources. And what I'm really sensing is the spirit of creativity being brewed inside of you. God is the creator. God is the creator of all. God is the master artist. And so it's so important to understand what God is creating in our lives and through our lives in this season. You know, God has put a creative gift on the inside of you. And really, creativity is a yielding to God and saying, God, what do you want to create through me? I give you permission to create through me. God is the master of the skies. God is the king of the universe. God has created so much beauty, so much abundance, so much for us to marvel. And he delights when he sees the work of his hands. But there is something in your hands that needs to be created. There's something in your heart that needs to be birthed. And a lot of times when I'm in that creative process, I say to the master artist, God, what do you want to create in and through me? What do you want to create in and through me? This is a time for creators. This is a time for innovators. This is a time for people to get a blank canvas, for people who want to go into territory that's uncharted, for all of this expanse that's just sitting here and waiting for you to lay your hand, your creative vision to it. God put something on the inside of you. You've been afraid to birth it. You've been overthinking the time, but God is saying the time is now. The master artist is speaking. The skies are painted with his glory. The world is his canvas. And yet you are his masterpiece. And there's a story that God wants to tell through you. There's a book that God wants to write through you. There's a business that God wants to birth through you. And it's time. That's all I keep hearing. It's time. It's not according to the world's clock. It's not according to the world's economy. Nature speaks. Nature declares God's glory. Nature declares God's abundance. And so it's here now. It's here now. What is it on the inside of you that hasn't been birthed? What is it on the inside of you that God wants to cause you to step into the courage and the confidence to put it out there? God's glory is on open display at all times, and yet his children are hidden. We're the ones that are hidden. And the scripture says in Romans 8, all of nature is crying out. And I'm looking down like, what am I stepping on? All of nature is crying out for the sons and daughters of God to be revealed. And so it's time that we stop hiding. It's time that we reveal the creative gifts that God has put on the inside of us. It's time we tap into the abundance and the expanse of all that God has created and stop playing small and stop limiting the king of the universe and we give God a surrendered yes to the creative voice on the inside of us. This is for the creators. This is for the creators. We are standing on holy ground in this time. What song needs to birth? What vision needs to birth? What painting needs to birth? What solution needs to birth? What innovation needs to birth? God is calling to the pioneers. We're out in the middle of nowhere right we're out in the middle of nowhere with all of this expanse and i love the west because it's the mindset of the pioneers it's the people who went where there was no road there was nothing here and they decided we are going to lay hold of this land there is land with your name on it there is territory with your name on it there's a sphere of influence with your name on it but it's going to come through the creative miracles of god on the inside of you god is the master creator what does he want to paint through you? What does he want to speak through you? What does he want to create through you? What would God's creativity look like on free reign in and through your life? So if you have a creative gift and you know it's stirring, if you've been overthinking it, you know, the creative part of us is our child. It's our inner child. And that part of us never feels safe when it's being judged. That part of us never feels safe when it's being um, treated without compassion and patience and tenderness. And so if you have a creative gift that you know you've been sitting on, I just hear God saying, this is the time for the creators to rise. So rise up, create, give God your mouth to speak through, give God your hands to write through, give God your heart to create through. This is the time for the creators. There's no limit to what God is going to do in and through your life. He's the master creator. He's the master artist. All we do is yield and say, yes, Lord, have your way. Create through me. Create 
innovate, inspire through me. I give you my surrendered yes. Amen. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.